Sorry I'm late. Hope you haven't been waiting long. No, I got here just a second. All right. Wow, those look good. Thank you. I no hope problem. Tabitha likes them. I feel really bad about our leaving so quickly the other day. You look a little tired. Yeah, I, I couldn't really sleep last night. Why? Uh, it's, it's silly. Come on, Charity, you can tell me. Well, you know those premonitions I was having the other day? Yeah. I've still got them, Miguel. And I think that it might have something to do with Tabitha. I, I hope there's nothing wrong with her. What was that? Oh, it's just some cats. You know, Mama says back in the old country when cats would screech, it means a witch is dying. She used to tell us all kinds of crazy old wives' tales. A witch. Do oh. <laughs> <laughs> we hate it when Fluffy and her friends screech and scream? Tabitha? Oh, how could this have happened? Do we have to help Tabitha? But how? Oh. 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 oh no! This must be what the TV prediction meant! That someone would die! But not the girl or Cherry! It's Tabitha! <sighs> Tabitha isn't pretending she's dying again, is she? No, Timmy. No, no. This is the real thing. Help me! Glad you came, Sheridan. Why'd you want to see me? I'll show you in a minute. I remember the first time you walked in on me here. Think about it all the time. Think about what I wanted to do. I never had the chance to. Yeah. Oh, but a lot's changed since then. We spent a lot of time together. Got to know each other. Now I see what a wonderful person you are. I feel the same way about you. Yes. Because that's going to make this even sweeter. Make what? I've been waiting for months to do this. And now... Mr. Crane? Is our table ready? Uh, yes, it's right this way. Never mind. What? Hi. Ugh, skip the pleasantries. Where's what? your boyfriend, Teresa? Let's just trot him out here right now so we can clear this whole thing up. Clear what up? I really don't like this, Gwen. <laughs> well, you're gonna love it when you know the truth. Would you like to tell him, Teresa, or should I? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, looks like I should. So, Ethan, here's what's been going on. See, Teresa says she's got this guy she's seeing, this boyfriend. But the truth is, you're really the guy. 
Ethan's really the boyfriend. Teresa's in love with Ethan. Why are you being like this? Why are you badgering me? Oh, I'll do more than badger you, honey. Gwen, I want you, you to stop this. You are nothing more than a conniving little opportunist trying to take my man and weasel your way into a social standing that you don't deserve and you certainly couldn't handle. Gwen, that's enough. No one at the country club is going to accept the housekeeper's daughter as Mrs. Ethan Crane. So why don't you just give it up, honey? Admit that you're a liar so Ethan and I can get on with our lives. in the door, Miguel. She's probably in the kitchen. She can't hear us. Maybe. What if something's wrong? Tabitha! It's open. It's odd. Tabitha? Oh, Timmy didn't even have time to go for help. Tabitha? Oh, they better not step in the puddle that Timmy's princess has become. Tabitha? Tabitha, you here? I'm really getting kind of worried, Miguel. I'm sure everything's fine. Tabitha? Oh! What was that? I don't know. It sounded like... Tabitha? Tabitha, are you here? Tabitha's here! Timmy Spencer's is still alive! She lives! I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. We've waited too long. Yes. It's time we stop denying ourselves and give in to the inevitable. Someone's here. Ignore them. The fun is for us. Oh, yes. Ethan, you have no boyfriend, that you're really in love with him. Damn it, Gwen, calm down. No, where do you think you're going? Oh. You clumsy idiot! It was an accident. Yeah, it's gonna cost you your job. Gwen, oh. you know, it was a... No, you are not going anywhere. Gwen, please. You're not only a liar, you're a coward as well. That's it. You know, I've had it with your hysterics. You know, I'm ashamed to be seen with someone as mean and nasty as you. What? You heard me. You know, I can't believe I ever felt anything for you. It's crystal clear where my real feelings lie. With Therese. Ethan, do you really mean that? I could never love a woman as vicious as Gwen. You're the woman I truly love, Therese. Over Gwen? It's true, Teresa. She is out of my life forever. From now until the end of time, it's you and me. I love you so much, Ethan. I love you, Teresa. Now I'm gonna take you back to the mansion where we can start our life together. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> but first, before we go, there's one more thing I need to do. What's that? Whitney, you threw a glass of water on my face? Uh-huh. Why? You were talking in your sleep. I could hear you clear in the living room. Well, you didn't have to have drown me, did you? I can't believe what you were dreaming about. And if you think tonight is going to end up like that, you are crazy. No way are you going to end up in Ethan's arms with Gwen slinking out the door with her tail between her legs. Please. Whitney, you're wrong. It's going to be like that, and I'm going to make it like that. How? I know exactly what I'm going to do, but I need your help. No, uh, uh you can count me out. In fact, count me out of all your crazy little schemes. What schemes? I want you to help me pick out a dress, a killer dress. Once Ethan sees me in it, he'll realize we were meant to be together. startle you. Where's... who? What were you dreaming about? Uh, dreaming... I was... I must have fallen asleep reading. Gwen, what are you doing here? I came by. I thought you wanted to go have coffee. I thought we'd go to the book cafe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Great. Let me just go freshen up and I'll be right with you. Okay, I'll just go get a glass of water. Okay. I keep having dreams like that about Luis. <sighs> so you actually went back to Sheridan's place? Yeah. And apologized? <sighs> Look, I felt bad, Hank. I asked her to help me nail her family, to betray her own flesh and blood. Now, I know how I'd feel if someone asked me to go against my own family. Yeah, but there's a big difference between the Cranes and the Lopez Fitzgeralds. Yeah, but still. You're right. You're right. I mean, it is a little out of character for you to use Sheridan. Or anyone. Yeah. But I know that the Cranes are involved in my father's disappearance. So if Sheridan can help me really find out what happened, then... Are you sure that's it? What? That all you want from Sheridan is information? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Oh, you think that I'm interested in Sheridan? Hell no. And that did sound like Tabitha, but she doesn't seem to be around. Well, I thought maybe it was coming from underneath the floor. What if Tabitha was going down to the basement and she fell down the stairs? Timmy, can't let Jerry and Miguel go down there. The forces of darkness live in the basement. Come on, let's check it out. Tabitha? Timmy has to do something. And fast. Stop talking to yourself, you silly twit. Do something. Tell them you're speaking to Timmy. Barely. You've got to help me. <sighs> There's only one person that can help a sick witch. Witch doctor, witch doctor. Hear my plea. A witch is sick. Come and see. <laughs> Who calls? Wait a millennium. What is this place? No, don't tell me. I'm a Tabitha. <sighs> What's wrong this time? <clears throat> All right. Let's take it from the top. Why was I disturbed at such a <laughs> inconvenient moment? <laughs> <laughs>
<clears throat> All right, you, doll, stop talking, and it had better be good. Oh, yeah. Well, Tabitha, she melted. That's her. Tabitha? Are you down there? Who's that? The kids from next door. Well, what did they say about down there? The basement? Tabitha's basement? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I won't have anything to do with Tabitha's basement. Count me out. Oh, no. Miguel and Charity are worried about Tabitha and... They're looking all over for her. You don't mean uh, Charity Standish. She lives next door. <gasps> oh, my. Whoa, next door. Well, then definitely something must be done. Charity must not be allowed to see what's in Tabitha's basement. Tabitha! Tabitha, are you in the basement? Tabitha, you down there? You okay? Tabitha! 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 So you still haven't told me what you were dreaming about when I came in. Oh, it, it's nothing. Nothing? Sheridan, from the look on your face, you seem to be having more fun than I've had in months. So out with it. Spill. I don't know why I shouldn't tell you. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe you can help me out with this. I was dreaming about Luis. Well, what's to figure out? I mean, I thought we had this conversation New Year's, remember? Yes. You told me you thought he was a great guy. He is. You even wanted to ask him out New Year's, and you would have if it weren't for this mix-up where you asked Hank instead. Yes, I really wanted to ask him out. But you also said that um, a relationship with Luis would be difficult because he doesn't want to get involved with a rich woman. I know I said that, but... A.B., don't tell me you've changed your mind. Well, Luis and I went out last night. And it was wonderful. I mean, the more time we spend together, the more I start to think that maybe we could make a go at it. You and Luis? Sheridan, don't be ridiculous. A relationship with Luis Lopez Fitzgerald? He's nothing more than a gate crasher, using you to get into a world he could never get into on his own. Just like his conniving little sister, Teresa. Do you have any idea how much things cost here? This should be enough for what I want. Where did you get a stack of money like that? I saved it. Just about every dollar bill Ivy Crane gave me is in here. And now I'm going to buy one special dress with it. Something Ethan and I will remember for the rest of our lives. Teresa, if you are smart, you will take that money straight to the bank and put it in your college fund. Oh, Whitney, look at all of these. Mm. Have you ever seen anything so gorgeous? And I'm going to be wearing one of them. I can't believe it. Well, I just think it's crazy to spend so much. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? Same stupid thing Teresa is. Living in a dream world. And isn't it wonderful? No. No, you've got to get out of this fantasy world and get real, okay? Ethan is not gonna pick you over Gwen tonight. I repeat, not. It's not gonna happen. Whitney, I don't wanna argue with you, but you're wrong. That's all. Tonight, Ethan's gonna see Gwen for the bitch she is. The only reason she was ever acting that way is because you're trying to steal her man. Whitney, it doesn't matter. After tonight, Ethan will be mine. We're meant to be together. And what about this boyfriend you're supposed to produce, huh? I won't have to. You won't? Oh, oh, right, right, because fate is going to step in. Girl, if you don't come back down to Earth, this fate stuff is going to blow up right in your face. Ethan. Morning, Father. Any plans this evening? Oh, Gwen and I are meeting Teresa and her boyfriend for dinner at the Lobster Shack. Ooh. You got an earful about that one. What? 
where your mother filled me in on the Teresa situation. She claims that Gwen's insecurity is all my fault, all because of some innocuous comment I made about your sowing some wild oats with Teresa that Gwen overheard. Well, comments like that certainly haven't helped the situation. Well, what would help is your learning how to handle your women better. Meaning what? Well, for pity's sake, Ethan, you can't let these things get out of hand. Well, you think I'm responsible for what's going on? Well, obviously there's a problem. You don't seem to be able to handle it, so... The problem is, is that Gwen believes Teresa is lying about having a boyfriend. Well, is she? No, but she wants me to believe that she's right. Well, then tell her you believe her. Case closed. I, I cannot lie to Gwen. Well, why not? You're only marrying the girl. I will not lie to my true love. True love. <laughs> oh. What's so funny? Uh, did you know, true love, let me disabuse you of this concept right now, my poor naive son. There is no such thing as true love. <laughs> Tabitha, are you down there? Turn the puddle back into Tabitha. Timmy knows he can do it. Feeling a little soggy, are we, Tabby? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Help me, you old fool. Turn her back. Oh, take too long. I don't have the time. Can you keep Terry and Miguel from going down in the basement? Jimmy doesn't want them to get hurt. Charity's so nice. I hate nice, but if she opens the door to that basement, mm -hmm. ah, to stop them, I must, uh, I must think of a diversion. We better go down there, Charity. I'm so afraid something's happened to her, Miguel. <laughs> Whoa. W was that table there before? I, I don't remember. Should we answer it? Hello? Who is this? Tabitha? Yes. Who is this? It's Charity. But I'm not calling the Bennett house. Uh, no, Tabitha, we're at your house. Mine? Oh, I must have dialed my own number by mistake. <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm really sorry, Tabitha. Miguel and I just came over to give you some muffins. We came to the front door, but we got worried when you didn't answer, and we thought we heard you call out from the basement. That must have been my cat, Floozy. Floozy? <laughs> Oh, I'd, uh, Fluffy, yeah. Fluffy's a floozy, you see. <laughs> Every Tom in the neighborhood is sniffing around my house. Um, well, I'm really glad that you're okay, Tabitha. Oh, I'm in the pink, but it was sweet of you to check in on me. But don't worry, I'm fine. In fact, I had a doctor's appointment, and I'm in tip-top shape, and I, I'll soon be at home base. <laughs> so see you later. <laughs> Ah, I thought that went swimmingly, don't you? Enough with the pathetic attempts at humor. You weren't funny in the last millennium, and you're even lamer in this one. Now, either help me or get out. One thing at a time, I've just taken care of keeping Charity and her friend out of the basement. Timmy's impressed. Your scheme actually worked. Every time Tabitha has an idea or a scheme, it always backfires. Oh, it's the golden touch. Some people just have it. <laughs> Who are you? Wait. You look familiar. Have I seen you before? Like, uh, maybe on, on TV? What are you doing here? You know, Father, it's really extraordinary how different we are. I should never have mentioned your bedding, Teresa. 
The Lopez Fitzgeralds have been nothing but a pain in the crane's side lately. That's right. Blame everyone else. At least Cher doesn't think she killed Martin anymore. Well, Luis still believes that we had something to do with his father's disappearance. Well, not to worry. Luis will soon learn the Cranes know absolutely nothing about whatever happened to Martin after he left Harmony. You know, Father, coming home from law school, I've learned a lot. Well, I'm glad to hear that. A lot about you. We have so little in common. Well, more than you think, son. Much more. I don't see it. That's because you're in denial. No, Father. It's because I know the type of person I want to be. See, I want to be someone of substance. Someone who tells the truth. Someone who doesn't have to use and manipulate people to get what he wants. See, I want to be a man with ideals. Well, you do that, Ethan. You hold on to your ideals. But when you need some advice on how to deal with real life, you come talk to your dear old dad. Because I think I know a few things that will help you make your life a whole lot easier. I'm not going to be that kind of man. True love. What a joke. <laughs> All Teresa wants is access into an elite social circle, and she'll use Ethan to put her there. Are you sure, Gwen? Yes, I know that girl. I know her type. I shouldn't have gone off like that. I'm sorry, but it makes me really mad. I can see that it does. Sheridan, I think I'm losing Ethan, losing him to that conniving oh, little witch. I don't believe witch. that for a minute, Gwen. But Ethan loves you. I used to think so. But I keep waiting for the light to go on in his head. I want him to realize that Teresa has no boyfriend, that Ethan's the only man she's in love with. Why can't he see that Teresa's manipulating everything? I keep asking myself that question over and over again, and the only answer I can come up with is that Ethan has feelings for her. Ethan? I mean, that is so far from the truth, Gwen. Believe me. Well, we'll see. I mean, she's supposed to produce this boyfriend tonight at the Lobster Shack, and one way or the other, it'll all be over tonight. I better go. I, sh I should get ready anyway. Well, good luck. Although I'm sure you won't need it. Well, thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. <sighs> Tonight we'll settle Gwen and Ethan's relationship. What about me and Luis? He still believes that the cranes had something to do with his father's disappearance. If I could only get that out of his head. What? Could Luis and I have a future together? Is it possible? <laughs> My interest in Sheridan Crane is zero. Uh, I've got too much going on right now. You know, uh, I've got my family, I gotta take care of them, uh, and my father's disappearance. Uh, Look, I know how bad you want to find out what happened to your father, but. That's why I don't get why you turned down Sheridan's offer to search the Crane Mansion. That's a tempting offer. You're right. But it'd be like using her. And I'm not gonna do that, you know? Too many men have done that to her already. Are you sure you're not falling for her? Would you stop with that stuff? Yeah, Sheridan's different from the rest of her family. But she's, she's still rich. Way too rich for me. Would never work. So we're talking no competition here. That's right. I'm leaving it to you. It's all yours, buddy. Miguel? Miguel, come quick. I can barely hear you. I'll be there in a sec, okay? Why are you here? Hello, Charity. You know my name? Oh, I know a great deal about you. What? What do you know? And you don't remember, do you? Of course you don't. You have amnesia. How do you know that? Oh, it's my job to know. What do you mean? And I'm learning more about you all the time. 
your life is going to be one hell of a roller coaster ride, and uh, my advice to you is to hold on tight. I don't understand. A roller coaster? I'm talking about the trials and tribulations of true love, the course of which never runs smooth. <laughs> hey, I've got them on the bucket. I'll be right there. Oh no! Miguel's going to see the witch doctor! Taking off? Yeah, I gotta go and plan my next move. Figure out a way to make certain Sharon falls in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe an interest in Sheridan Gray. That's just plain. That's <laughs> <laughs> my scarf. Nice car. Yeah. <laughs> Relationship with Sharon and Cranny, that, that would just never work. Never. <laughs> oh, this might be a bit too much, but I might as well try it. Oh, I hope you know what you're doing. I do, exactly. I'm gonna leave here with the perfect dress. Why didn't you try this one? Oh, Whitney. This is the exact dress I was wearing in my dream. Look at it. I'm sure it'll look great on you, Teresa, but I just really don't want to see you hurt again. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you I won't be? I'll take it. Don't bother to wrap it up, though. I have to get over to the Lobster Shack. I don't want to be late for my meeting with Ethan and Gwen. Oh, 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 and your boyfriend. All right, look, just in case things don't come off the way you planned, I'm going with you, okay? You worry too much. And let's hope like crazy I'm worrying for no reason. But I want to be there for you. Come on. <laughs> I wish you the very best of luck, Charity. Toadstools and warts, a diseased dying tree. After I'm gone, you remember nothing of me. Sorry I took so long. It took me forever to find a mop. And Tabitha's got some strange stuff in her kitchen. So, uh, why were you calling me? Um, I don't remember. It must not have been that important. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up this mess before Tabitha comes back. Oh, no! Timmy's princess! Oh, oh. Did you hear something? Charity, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm not sure. Um, I... Uh, you know what? I think I should get you home. I, we need to lie down. Well, we didn't finish cleaning up. Don't worry about it. I'll come back later. Come on. Oh. Poor Tabby. Half of her is in the bucket, and the other half is on the floor. What is Timmy going to do now? I have a strange feeling that something happened in there, Miguel. But I don't remember what. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Come on. I'll get you home. Take care of you. <sighs> Timmy doesn't know what to do, Princess. Oh. I thought those other two would never leave. You're back! Great! Now you can help Tabby. If I do... It won't be because of Tabitha or you. Nurse Heidi here <laughs> has taken a shine to you. Hello, nice. And uh, she personally asked me to help Tabitha. <laughs> Can Heidi yodel? She doesn't like cats, does she? Ew, I can't stand the critters. Timmy's in love. Enough with the billing and cooing. Timmy doesn't have hormones. 
It does now. Water and ice, fire and bone. Show us how to help this crone. You turned Timmy's princess into a fish. What did you expect? Miracles? I did the best I could. The only thing that can help Tabitha now is to receive love from her enemy. Timmy doesn't understand. Well, you damn well better think about it, because if you don't figure it out, Tabitha could be swimming around in that thing until she turns belly up. And you don't want to see that, my friend. It's not a pretty sight. But at least the scales of justice will be balanced. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> scales of justice, really. You get it? Uh, scales. Fish. You, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worried for you. <sighs> What's Timmy going to do? <sighs> well, look, there she is. Solo. There's no boyfriend, Ethan. There never was. She has been lying this whole time. All going to come true tonight. Everything I ever wanted will be mine. Hello. Luis, thank God you're home. Sure. You all right? I think someone's stalking me. They're here in the cottage. Please come quick, please. Sure. Sure. 